What's up guys, welcome back again. It's Sunday and uh, get used to these because I'm gonna be sticking with it. Um, so I wanted to talk about one thing that came to my mind today was sloth or being sluggish or procrastination, not kind of doing the things you're meant to do and what that and why that may be. Um, definitely something I battle with badly, <laughs> like so bad. Um, and it's interesting for me, especially because of the fact that on one hand, like, especially when it comes to my training in the gym, I have the discipline, right? I can show up and train. And I think a lot of this is habit, habitual. Um, and I also think it's that clear return on investment. Like wh when values are clear, decisions are easy. Like once you see the value in something, it's quite easy to do it. For example, you know, people that are alcoholics, you know, if you told them that one more drink, you'll actually, your, your liver can't handle it, you're going to die. Like it's going to, it's going to motivate that person to actually like stop drinking. But yeah, when it comes to the gym for me, I, I've been pretty good at it um, in terms of just like being disciplined. And that's, that's lasted me like the last four years of my life. Um, and even I found when I stopped training for like three months at the end of last year, I noticed how much it affected, like, like I just didn't want to go, like I got this laziness, whereas like before it was almost like, bro, you need to chill out, like you're training too much, you're going to the gym too much, you need to like slow down. So there's definitely, uh, there's definitely like, uh, uh, there's like a point of, there's like a threshold that you cross, where it's no longer like, you have to put the effort in to do that thing, it's more the, you have to put the effort in to stop yourself doing that thing. And for me, it's like your work, right? Uh, and that's something I, I found difficult. And I know a lot of people find these find this difficult. They find it hard to like put their head down and, and get on with something. Uh, and there's actually an amazing book, which is right here, that is called The War of Art. And this book basically def depicts what's called resistance. And it, resistance is like, you know, it's kind of like given a character in the book as like this thing, like it's, it, it's, it's sort of personified in the book where it's saying like resistance doesn't like this, doesn't like that. It loves, you know, and basically the idea is resistance is that feeling of like, you know, when you need to do something and you just don't do it or you leave it to the last minute or you always find 10 other things you need to do before you, you actually get down and do the thing. And that really is what that is, is just resistance. And, and it's not the thing it's that you're battling, it's the resistance to it. And that resistance doesn't want you to hit your full potential. One of the things in the book I like is it says, the thing you feel the most resistance to doing is the thing you actually need to do the most. And that's what's gonna actually give you a return on investment. And we live in like a, such a technolo technologized world. It's not even a word, but yeah. Like things like TikTok, as I said in my last video, it's TikTok, it's TikTok, TikTok. Like the, the clock is ticking, like it's literally wasting your time and it's wasting your energy. It's stealing your dopamine. And as a result, you don't, make any progress and then the, it gets to the end of the day and then you carry around this kind of guilt this feeling of like damn like i didn't utilize that day well and this has been a problem for me for a lot a long time and the opposite to that is diligence right being diligent being sweet being focused and it's hard it's very hard and there's not really a, a magic pill there's not really a secret i'm going to tell you on this video to overcome it but in this book it, it basically breaks down um what it takes you know to really get through um, and how your family play a role, how, you know, um, there's different things that, that come into play. Like people you surround yourself with, um, just these, these kind of things. And how, yeah, like it, it's something that ruins people's lives. You know, resistance ruins people's lives because they never tap into their potential. They never do the thing they're meant to do. And yeah, the book really helps you kind of dive into that. And one of the things it mentions is like, just sit down and start, like there's no real secret. Um, and that's what it takes. It really takes like building this habit of like doing that thing, doing that thing, doing that thing. And yeah, there's no secret to it really. It's just the willpower. And a lot of what we do is habitual. Like we find things easier when we've, when we've built a habit to do it. And a habit takes about 21 days to be formed. And then it takes about 90 days to make it a lifestyle. So 
if you wake up every morning at 6 a.m you do you go downstairs you do maybe a, a, a like a morning routine and then you start working let's say from let's say 6 45 or let's say 7 for the rest of the day and you do that every day for like a month or two even if you miss a, the odd day here and there you're forming that habit and then forming that like as your lifestyle but if you're kind of sporadic and you're just some days you do it some days you don't you know and you keep, every night you say right i'm gonna wake up early and you don't end up waking up early like it's gonna always take you a lot of willpower to actually do that thing and yeah i think there's a bigger element to it too like something i struggle with is just like you know if you're dealing with like negative thoughts negative feelings which is common in a lot of people you know this kind of self-doubt or this kind of like um heaviness maybe you're going through a tough time in your life and you just want to lie in bed right you just want to keep your head on that pillow you just want to like i don't want to be i don't want to be a part of the world and the thing about that is that's the easy choice now, but that becomes a harder choice later because when you do that, you lose those hours in the day. You lose maybe two, three hours and the day's gone. You wake up and you actually feel more sluggish. You feel more like behind. Whereas if you'd just woken up maybe six, maybe seven, got up, had a coffee, you know, if you drink coffee, got yourself moving and did cracked on with your day, one, it, one partly it feels more like godly in a sense um to wake up early but all, on top of that you will quickly feel better and that's time you can use to your advantage but and it's also preparation is too i think a big part of why people can't get up in the morning and because they don't have anything to get up to you know if i said to you hey you're going to wake up tomorrow and there's going to be a million pound in your bank account you're going to first thing you're going to see is a million quid but you have to you know sleep through the night but once you wake up there'll be a million quid you really think you're going to struggle to get out of bed? No, not at all. You're going to have so much energy to get up and be like, did I just get a million? What the heck? But the problem is our lives aren't like that. Our lives are mundane. They're boring. And that's the problem. And that's why you need to build a life that at least to a point is like you have fulfillment, you have joy, you have things to look forward to or things you know you need to do that get you up every single day. And, you know, I don't believe that we're meant to have these like super, super happy lives where like, it's amazing and it's like a movie. I, I don't believe in that. Um, I think there are days where you just got to grind it out. I think there's going to be days where you got to work hard and I think that's fine. Like I think a lot of people want to make life easier or they don't want to work, but we got, we're built to work. Humans are made to work, you know. Our body is capable of so much and our mind, our body, everything. And we've got to put it into action. We've got to use it. Um, but no, I highly recommend this book, The War of Art. And, you know, being like slothful is, is a sin. Like if you actually look into it um, and being diligent is, is, is like kind of the opposite. It's like a virtue, so to say. And I'm not perfect with this. You know, I'm not sitting here like lecturing you guys because I definitely am not as good at this. But it's definitely something I want to work on um, and I'm working on it. And the best way I've found to improve this is purely just to cut off distractions is a big one. Like especially women, <laughs> like cut them out of your life get clear on your vision, have a vision for what you want to do, set out the tasks you need to get on with that day and just chip away at it. Perfection equals paralysis. You know, every day, as long as you're moving in the right direction, if, even if every day you do 30% or 40% or 50% of what you intended to do, it's still better than not doing anything. Same with training. If you go to the gym and you have a okay session, it's still better than, you know, not going at all. You know, oh, you didn't quite get the numbers you wanted or you didn't quite push as hard as you know you could have. Well, at least you know for next time and it leaves that hunger. So, yeah, if you're battling with like laziness, um, you need to find, you need to fill your day up with tasks, things you're going to do, even if it's just socialising. If that's something that's important to you right now, do it. Um, keeping your room squared away, keeping it tidy, you know, that's a huge thing. Go keep everything in order because a tidy room is a tidy mind, as, as cliche as that sounds. And yeah, just getting on making things simple, simplifying things. Everyone overcomplicates. Couple of couple of maybe three things in the day you need to get on with and sit down, start it and just go. Like that's it. Sit down, whatever it is, put your head and just turn off your phone. It takes a bit of willpower to turn off your phone and just go, right, let's make a start on this. And every time you get that little urge to to look at the, the phone or step away, don't give into it. Do not give into it. Just think, okay, that's a trick. Stay focused and you'll build 
build discipline over time. Thanks for watching.